Hey guys, welcome back to Cozy Woman Podcast. My name is Shan, mama of the girls, because I have girls, so you guys need to keep me in your prayers. Welcome to Cozy Woman Podcast, where I give feedback, honest feedback about parenting, uh, tips about parenting, and how we can survive these kids and make sure they grow up better than we did. With that being said, school's out this week. Now what? What are you doing with your kids now that they're on quote unquote, things taking break, quote unquote, Thanksgiving break. What are you doing with them? Okay. Currently, you hear that it's quiet at my house because my kids are outside in the yard, fenced in. Don't bother me. (laughs) It's safe back there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lots of things to get into. That's what my kids are doing. Tomorrow's Monday. Is it going to feel like Monday? No. You know why? Because there's no school. Uh, They don't have to go anywhere. Their camp is open, but am I going to logically take them? Probably not because I have to get up really early to do so. So, with that being said, this is a good time to spend time with your kids. Um, Have games, puzzles, movies y'all could watch. Maybe you might cook together, make cookies. Uh, Lots of laughing, lots of talking, lots of getting um, to know your kids. I'm going to try my best not to um, have to punish anybody. I'm going to try my best not to yell. I'm just going to give schoolwork to those who don't want to listen. That's what I'm going to do. Um, It's a good time to be around family. You know, don't let... Your kids get sucked into the screen. And when I say the screen, I'm talking iPads, TV, computer, all the time. Uh, Yes. Wait. When I'm done, I'll I'll give it to you. Hello, everybody. Close the door. You see why I keep them outside? Um, So, yeah. Don't let them sit in front of the TV constantly the whole time. Don't let them sit in front of the computer the whole time. Um, If they start to nag each other, siblings, do that. Uh, You can separate them. You can make one do schoolwork and the other don't. Or let them go take a nap. I think naps are essential to your child's sanity and most importantly, everybody else's sanity in the house and yours. Okay? Well-rested kids don't get on each other's nerves. Teaching your kids something new. This is a good time to teach your kids something new. For Thanksgiving, um, aka things taken, I will be celebrating my seven-year-old's birthday. Um, So I already have that prepared, which reminds me I need to go pick up candy for her piñata. Why does she have a piñata? I have no idea, but she does. So, yeah. Um, That's that. (laughs) I'm I'm really thinking, does that piñata have a string? I really don't want to... Ooh, but I'm looking at this tree. I can like tie the pinata onto the tree with like a pulley thing and then just have her hit it without anybody having to hold it and get hit because I've seen enough videos. But <laughs> we'll see. Um, Scrabble is a good game to teach your kids um, how to play, how to spell words, how to figure out if something is a word. You know, maybe introduce your kids to the dictionary for the first time. Um, Other games, puzzle games is a good thing to do over this time period. Spend quality time with your kids. Traveling probably won't be so much smart for anybody unless it's like health reasons need based. But I wouldn't try to travel unless you're in your vehicle traveling. You're not going to be around other people. Flying, the germs the germs like how are you gonna have states on a shutdown but you got the airport still open i'd be confused um spending quality time <sighs> google spending quality time if you're confused like you should know spending quality time could be you just laying up in the bed reading with your kids you Yay! i have cozy room merch on teespring Hashtag Cozy Womb Shop. You'll find it. 
I have it posted on my Instagram, Cozy Womb Pod. I also have it posted on my Twitter, Cozy Womb Pod. Go ahead and add me and follow. I also have Mama's Cozy Closet where I created merch just for mamas because we do so much, so we deserve. But don't be sad, dads. On Cozy Moon Shop, I have t-shirts on there. Something very like, sell them daddy. Because I know y'all don't like to blast, oh, I'm a dad, on my stuff. So I have something for everybody. I have kids' hoodies. I have coffee mugs. I have mama's little zip pouch bags that keep our discreet items in there. So check it out. And thank you for supporting the Cozy Moon Podcast. Back to the show. We going back. To the show. Yay! Here we go. Back to the show. Back to the show. You um watching something together as a family. You doing projects together as a family. Making a birdhouse. Uh, making gingerbread cookies. Um creating something with Play-Doh outside. Teaching your kids how to play hopscotch, jump rope. Uh, getting some outside toys, teaching maybe one of your kids needs to learn how to ride a bike, teach them how to learn to ride a bike. That's something you could do. I remember when I was little, I learned how to ride a bike without a helmet and knee pads and stuff. It was all about finding your balance, and that's what I did. This week, um, this holiday, all man-made holidays for Americans, I always take it the same way. Okay. They're legally giving me time off to spend time with my family and the people I like. And that's what it is. It's really not about Santa for Christmas or gifts for me. It's really not about um, the food for me the older I get. Because one thing about cooking a lot of food, the older you get, that you understand why your mom never ate when everybody else ate. Because if you're in the kitchen for like two days, prepping food, cooking food, smelling food, tasting food, by the time it's time to eat, you really have no appetite because you've been around food all day long. So for Thanksgiving, um, aka birthday day, I'm having cake, which is like birthday cake. I'm having ice cream. I'm having candied yams, which my kids don't eat. I'm making a small thing of baked macaroni and cheese. I, um, what else am I making? I'm making oxtails, which I will be uh, browning and seasoning the day before. I'm making um, gungu peas and rice. I'm making, what else am I making? Why is my child outside with no shoes and socks in the yard? Where's your shoes? And she knows she did something wrong because she ran. Um, uh, what else am I making? I think that's all. Oh, yeah, and turkey. I got a turkey in the freezer. I'm going to defrost it. When am I going to def- defrost it? I'm going to defrost it Tuesday. Clean it, season it, baste it. Uh, I gotta get one of those squirter thingies. Okay, I need to make a list. I need the squirter things thingies. I need the candy for the pinata. What else do I need? Um, I need one of those um, the oven mittens. I'm gonna just go to the dollar store and get this stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's all. I'm not doing anything else crazy. I'm not doing cranberry sauce because I'm the only one that eats cranberry sauce. I'm not doing um, stuffing because my kids don't like stuffing. I'm not doing three different rice. I'm not doing that because you digest it down like sugar. And my fridge is not that big. I don't have a deep freezer. So where the hell am I putting all this food? And then realistically, it'll probably only be myself, Anya, Ari, my nephew, and I don't know where my brother's going, if he's going to stay with his horrible wife or not. I don't know. Um, I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe one of my best friends might come because it's on his birthday. I really don't want a lot of people here because of COVID. Um, maybe my other friend might come because of Anya's birthday. I got to get balloons the day before. I got to pick up her cake the day before at Publix. I'm going to be in Publix, a grocery store, like a madhouse the day before Thanksgiving because they're closed on Thanksgiving. So I don't know. Whatever it is with school being out, teach your kids something. 
okay it doesn't have to be just school stuff it could be a new game it could be about a new a old movie that's a classic so they can understand that hey we did have fun when we were little also and just have fun and enjoy this time because that's all it is it's it's time for you to enjoy time period i'm looking at this bird and the squirrel fight and i don't know what they're fighting over maybe they're fighting over bird seeds but it's very funny there's lots of squirrels in my yard my backyard and lots of different birds <sighs> anyway thank you guys for listening to cozy womb i'm out of here bye